there, how are you? It's Thursday, the weather is beautiful. I am in one of the hidden gems of downtown El Paso, waiting for Miss Kimber McCartan Foster. She's gonna give us a lowdown on all of the great events happening this weekend and beyond. Hello, Kimber. Hey, Daniel. Que pasa? Que you get pasa it? You get a lot. It? I get it. This is a really great spot. Tell me where we are right now. We are in the heart of downtown El Paso, in between the convention center and South University Park. This is the public art pedestrian pathway. There's a lot of cool things to see, really colorful murals, and then several different art installations on either side of us. <laughs> okay, first off, Kimber, what is this? This is what's called Chroma Booster. It's an amazing sculpture made by Matthew Geller, who's a New York-based artist. It's neat during the day, but at night it's awesome because it lights up and it kind of lets out like a colorful mist. Okay, this weekend we've got one of the big events at the Sumbul. Yep, Monster Jam returns. I love Monster Jam. It's loud, it's noisy, but it's a lot of fun and it's just cool to see like families together having a really good time to watch these 10,000 pound, 12 foot high uh, trucks crushing cars. So that's taking place at the Sunbowl Stadium this Saturday at 7 p.m. and then again Sunday at 2 p.m. Should those guys be in school? Okay, we're right by the Chavez Theater, and we have a really amazing guitarist coming back to the Sun City. That's right. Guitar virtuoso Joe Satriani returns to the Abraham Chavez Theater, 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday night. Really great rock music. If you have not seen this guy play guitar, just YouTube him. The way he shreds, it's incredible. Right? Definitely great. And just a quick little walk away from the pathway, we have the Union Plaza District, and every Saturday there is a really great farmer's market here. Every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., you can come down here and support local business owners who are selling everything from art to jewelry, um, regionally grown produce, soap, coffee, you name it. I've also seen uh, local dog treats. That's awesome. I need to get some for my dogs. Me too. She deserves it. We mentioned it last week, we've got Riverdance coming to town. Yeah, we do. This is actually their 20th anniversary world tour, and it's also the 10-year anniversary of the Plaza Theater. Riverdance opened the Plaza Theater 10 years ago. It was the very first show, so it's definitely exciting for us. There are four different performances taking place this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday is at 8 p.m., Saturday is at 2 p.m., and again at 8 p.m., and then Sunday at 2 p.m. All right, Kimber, thank you so much. I don't know what's with all the police officers. I swear we haven't done anything. Have you done anything? No. You paused. You hesitated. <laughs> just to just to keep you on your toes. 